Hello everyone, that manga kid here to give another digital manga review, this time of Starving Anonymous by Yu Kuraishi and Kazu Inabe. This is another Kodansha digital release. It is a seven volume horror series. Um, I'm going to say right off the bat, if you are uncomfortable with extremely disturbing imagery of human experimentation, body mutilation, um, uh, monsters, Disgu like just disgusting imagery, uh, gruesome, gory, right up in your face, I skip it. This one is not for you. Um, but if you, if you love horror manga and none of that phased you, um, then highly recommend Starving Anonymous. This is... A bizarre series that took a completely different turn than I was expecting. Uh, I didn't really know what to expect going into this, but I certainly did not expect what ended up happening. Um, and at seven volumes, it was pretty intriguing all the way through, and I think it was a good length uh, to tell this story. So basically, our main character is on a bus. And Battle Royale style, everyone's knocked out with a gas of some kind. And he, for some reason, is kind of, I guess, a bit immune to this gas. Everybody else passes out. He sort of passes out. But he wakes up in this factory-like place where everybody around him is asleep still from this gas. And they're being sawed into pieces by other people wearing these hazmat suit-like things. And, uh... So he's terrified, doesn't know what's happening, uh, very confused, and one of the employees who's stopped sawing someone in half long enough to realize he's awake and shoves him in a different room um, where all of these straw things are hanging from the ceiling and there are so many morbidly obese people drinking from these straws and they're drinking in an obsessive way. And he doesn't know what's happening. He's very confused, trying to get out of this dark room. And he see he meets a couple other people close to his age um, who tell him, don't drink from the straws. And so they kind of come up with a plan to escape this room and get into this facility and figure out what's going on. Um, all of our characters are psychologically struggling um, and not just because of the situation they're currently in you can tell that they are just not okay upstairs um, and they probably haven't been for a long time and they just so happen to all be together in this horrific situation uh, but they were already not doing great so it's a very interesting kind of character unraveling as as more mysteries of this facility are uncovered um very disturbing but interesting ride um yeah it's it's so bizarre and i don't want to spoil anything about this facility or why it exists and what's going on because you find that out a couple volumes in um but yeah the first volume or so is really just them kind of exploring this facility and seeing all of the horrific things that are happening um, and trying to piece together why this is all going on. The art is quite good. Um, let me find some here to show you. Yeah, I really don't have any complaints about this. I didn't read it all in one sitting because um, there's a good shot of our main character here um because it was just so out there but you know once it kind of got into the later few volumes i really couldn't put it down because i just wanted to know um what was going to happen next i wanted to know what was going on i'm just trying to find some other good art um it's pretty standard at the beginning i don't I can't really get into farther in the series where there's a lot of action and the kind of gruesome stuff, but um, you'll just have to take a look for yourself to 
see if this is something that interests you. But yeah, I mean, the art is decent. And once it gets into the more gruesome stuff, like this, this artist clearly uh, is very good at drawing very horrific monster scenes and everything. Um, so just take my word for it that the art, the action scenes in this are, are quite uh, excellent. But yeah, I mean, didn't know much about this going into it, but very captivating story, extremely entertaining, highly recommend if you're into horror manga and you haven't checked this out yet. Um, this is one I would probably pick up uh, if if it got a physical release, I would I would probably buy it because I think that this is something that I would read again. Um, yeah, and I liked the ending. I don't know. I feel like some people probably would be have mixed feelings about the ending, but I personally really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, recommend Starving Anonymous definitely. If you've read any good horror manga lately. Let me know. I'd love to hear it. I really, really love horror manga, and I've been in the mood for it lately, uh, so I've just been consuming a lot of it and would love to hear your recommendations if you have any more. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching.